Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Green Hell, shall we? Continuing where we left off with our complete beginner's guide, and, you know, we've got some, well, human meat lying here. We've got one mud brick left, and it's time for us to uh, perhaps explore a bit more and build some more structures before we make that ayahuasca and move on looks like i found a new entry oh yes an unknown some more unknown mushrooms and such in there and it is what time 5 30. i think what we want to do is go ahead and just gather a little bit more nutrients see if we can find some seeds and press on i have armor on all slots that's doing just fine and I'm going to check over here for some plants I'm going to go switch to uh, our axe and just bust this up oh boy uh, maybe we need to use this no maybe these are these not choppable I'm just experimenting seeing what we've got did you drop any seeds? Not really. All right. And any mushrooms, anything we want to find over here. My fear is that if I go to sleep too quickly, um, I'll wake up and it will be dark. And I want to go, I want to travel pretty far tomorrow. So, there we go. Got some tobacco. I want to stay awake just a little longer to avoid that. Well, let's look for any coconuts up high or that may have fallen. And it's starting to get very hard to see, so I will work my way back to camp. Watching out for any nightmares, spiders, snakes. Uh, trying to avoid any leeches. Okay, I think we're fine. Oh boy. This log is hard to jump over for my guy sometimes. You can do it. Alright, let's sleep in the hammock. Oh, okay, it's extra dark because it's getting a little cloudy, I see. Saw some lightning. And let's go for it. So we get up and still, even with this, it'll be 3 a.m. Uh, and we'll just continue to do some more work. We're going to uh, get enough supplies so that we can make a reasonable travel. And But, you know, as it is, it's brighter than it was, so that's good. And let's check our levels. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's any bananas. It would be nice. I'm going to select an actual tool that I would want to fight with as opposed to that little knife. Um, I currently... Here we go. I was going to say I don't see any, but no, they're right here. Great. I'm going to go ahead and eat a banana. And we will take a banana. And that'll be fine. We can start cooking if we want to make some more bone broth, which we might do, but let's just check our backpack for food. And you see we do have some uh, dried toucan meat we can eat and get some protein. We actually had some other bananas. Uh, I'll eat one more and get our carbs uh, hopefully filled up. Yep, and now it's just a matter of fat and such. I'll walk over here and drink a little bit. And then that's done. And... While that is drying up, let's start a fire and get going with our broth. Now, it is worth, um, let's see. Did the fire that I built over here, it burned down, right? Yes, perfect. Or, I hope it did. Uh, because that will allow us to 
get the campfire ash, which we need for more mud bricks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's hard to see where my old fire was, so I will just make another one. Select notebook, and we're going to go down to here. Select this, and I need to build it in a place uh, that is underneath. There we go. The canopy, so that it doesn't get rained on. We just need a few more sticks. No problem. Oh boy, getting really dark now. Now you know what, when it gets this dark, I'm just going to rest again. And let's just wake up. Yeah, it's seven. Perfect. All right, now we can see. And we're going to come over here. We need some sticks. We'll get some sticks. They're lying everywhere in the jungle here. I'm going to switch over to our axe. Great. And there's logs and all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and break this up and break this up. Oh boy, it's flying everywhere. Okay. Do I have any sticks? There we go. I don't want the log. Drop that. I'll get rid of that. There we go. I got a long stick, which I'll drop it. Okay. There we go. And we're going to go to our backpack and we're going to use our fire bow. Right here, and we will just throw in some dried leaves. Ignite. Beautiful. And I will walk over and drink, drink, take, take. And we will insert both of these over here. insert or just at least put it down and does my bite on have anything in it a little bit it's now empty um so let me get some more water in there pick it up is over the water here we go and now we've got a bite down full of water. We already have some bones over here that we can cook up, so I'll pick up a couple. And I'm going to go ahead and just go into this coconut bowl. And we will uh, pick this up and drop it in there. And then I will use my bite on to fill this up. And we will have a bone ready to go here for when this cooks. And there we go. Drop it in, and I'm going to drink that. And you see we got a bunch of fat, proteins. Pick this up. Put it there. I will pick up this other bone, and we will drink that. And then uh, just go back to my backpack really quickly. Get the bone out. Put it there. Now, I could just take some meat that hasn't dried that's uh, good meat. This is what peccary. Yeah, I'll take that. And then I will take uh, that. And I'm going to go to my backpack. Get the peccary meat. This gives you a lot of fat. Oh, it's spoiled. Interesting. Huh. I wonder, though, if when it's drying, if that doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe as soon as you take it off, if it's been there for too long, then it counts as spoiled. That's curious. Okay. Well, good to know. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, and we'll just drop it down here for some water. And how are we doing now on our radials? Everything's good except fat. Which is enough. We're not, like, going forever on our journey, so this will be fine. I will uh, fill up my bite on now. 
Make sure I have water. All right. So I'm going to get my spear out just in case we get jumped. And we're going to go this way. So on the map, um, we are heading uh, south by southwest. Now, I think I told you guys about this, but I did not notice this at first when I was playing. And this is such a huge tip. You probably already noticed it. But you see on the uh, corners of the map, on the left edge and the upper edge, there are numbers. Those correspond to the grid that you're in. And your compass actually tells you 46 by 26. So you can see if I count 46 by 26 exactly where I am on this map. And you can use this to locate where you are and where you want to go to make getting around much easier. And it's not as important necessarily in this beginning part of the game, but especially once we open up to the next area and the things get larger, you're going to want to be able to navigate more smoothly. So I'm just walking over. Oh, looks like I got some leeches. I'll say. Okay. And I'm just walking over this way. So again, we're kind of heading this south by southwest direction so that we can get to the edge of the map. Now there's a rattlesnake, which I will kill. And skin. And we're going to go across this log. And this will allow us... Oh, got some cool mushrooms here. These are great for the water that I have to drink. I will take it. You will see over here eventually, and just make sure you're still being cautious as you move. There's creepy crawlies and things. All right. Eventually over here, we will arrive at a cave. Oh, great. This is actually perfect. Now you can see on our radio... We're just about full on everything. And I keep walking along this mountain right side, this cliff face, until I find the cave that I'm looking for. I'll take some rope. Sure. And here it is. And once you find this cave, uh, your character will mark it on the map. You can see in the upper right, it says map, new location. And we can go in here... And what we want to do is, first of all, make sure on the ground that you don't step on a scorpion. They do make noise. You will see them. But in this case, uh, first of all, there's obsidian stone in here, which is incredibly good. But this is what we are looking for, this. An iron vein. So an iron vein allows us to mine minerals, but only when this icon is here. Otherwise, it's depleted. So we could make... Um, what we need right here, which is a pickaxe. And we don't have a pickaxe. So we need to figure out how to make one. So what we're going to do is go to backpack. And um, we're going to combine um, a stone blade. I'm going to craft with this. And I'm going to combine a um, stick. Oops. Oh boy. That didn't, that didn't work right. Not uh, here. <laughs> Push the wrong button. Okay, I'm going to take the stone blade craft, and then we're going to take a stick, and I'm going to craft, and it says, no, that's not right. That does not work. And so we remove it. And so what can I do with a stone blade? Can I combine a rope? I can. What about a small stick? That is not going to work, so we remove it. What about a large stick? There you go. So I don't know why that didn't work before, but here we are. Stone pickaxe. Um, and we push right button. So you need a stone blade, you need a rope, and you need a stick. And you can make yourself a stone pickaxe. But we have too many tools. So I'm actually going to go into my backpack. I'm going to put this um, stick blade, and I'm going to put it over here in my blade section. And I'm going to pick this up. And now you can see we have this pickaxe in the number one slot. And you can use it right here. You have to kind of get close to this, which is a little awkward. There we go. 
And now we got two iron ore, and by getting the iron ore, we learn how to make a mud forge. So we're going to use mud to make ourselves a forge. Now I'm going to continue exploring in this cave because you look all around. There's a scorpion, by the way, right there over there. Um, you look all around and you'll see more iron ore veins like up here and here. But these don't have anything in them because the pickaxe icon is not showing. So you can hit it, but it's not going to give you anything. So you just keep looking. And unfortunately, it's not really super easy to get the iron. But you want to just poke all the way around. I'm going to get a spear. And I'm going to get this guy. Um, you could take the body, you know, if you want, I guess, whatever. And uh, I'm going to say, okay, here's another vein right here, but it's empty. And here's the vein that we already got. So unfortunately, that's all we really got. And you have to kind of come back to try and get more iron from this cave but there's other caves where you can get iron this is just the one that was closest to us and there we go now if i push down on the map you'll see that this cave is marked and we're very close actually back to our starter location i'm going to eat that banana take that stick i'm going to take two can uh, because we need more arrows, of course. And we're going to then just cut and go back the way I came. Make some more bandages if we like. And now that we have storage, you can actually, if you're interested... Oh, here's another bird body. Make more bandages and not worry about filling up your carry capacity with it. Because you can put them in your container. There's some rock... Here's a big drop-off, so what we're going to do is walk, and we're going to indeed look for that log that we crossed over before. Check my radials. Everything is actually looking really good. And we're going to head back over here. And we got a new location on the map. Well, what is that location? It's that. So, let me look, I'll show you. This, you'll see a grapple location. We can't, obviously, climb up here until we get a grappling hook. And so we'll have to figure out how to make that. Or, in this case, I believe that is a, um, well, I don't want to spoil, but we acquire it. So, you'll find places like that as you explore. And it's worth noting, you know, that the map is not infinite. You can, in fact, see on the edge of the map where the grapple hook is in the bottom center there is a darker line with elevation where there's cliffs that are kind of keeping us in this section of the map pick up the stick and just keep walking over here and soon enough We've made it back to our area. See all these bones and sticks and things. Everything that we need. Now, next stop is to say, okay, great. We have this iron, but we need to go into our notebook. And in the notebook, we now know how to go over here in the um, crafting station and we can make a planting box uh, to plant and farm but we can also create the mud forge which we don't have so we already have the furnace i'm going to select this and i'm just going to put it right next to my furnace and now you can see we need five long sticks so let's make this now i'm actually going to go ahead though and uh, so to use this, we need to put sticks in here. So I'm going to go into my backpack and I'm going to just um, insert as many sticks as I have. Just pushing A with this selected uh, in there, making like a little thing. And you can see it takes a ton of sticks to get this going. But I do want to get it going uh, for two reasons. We need charcoal, even though we have actually a, a reasonable amount, but you need a lot. And um, I want to use the last mud brick 
because we need to make more mud bricks. Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh. Over here. Get that in. Another stick. Get it over here. And we're going to move over here. Alright, stick on the ground. Stick, stick, stick. Oh, long stick. Sweet. There are a bunch of long sticks just chilling over there, which is perfect for us for what we are building. And we have no space for little sticks, but we need um, bigger sticks. And this log, actually, if I just take my axe, uh, we can get a long stick out of it. And be done with this portion. And now we need mud br bricks. Now for this, uh, I don't think I got a ton more sticks, but I can insert them. Alright, so we need some more. And I'm going to take this mud brick, and I'll just put it right down here. And we need more, so we're going to need to make mud. So let's go ahead and expand, take mud, drop it in. Expand, take mud. Drop it in. Of course, it did make us dirty. I will insert campfire ash. I had some. And it's raining right now, so you don't need to actually put water on here. The rain will do the rest, which is great. I'm going to chop this down, get some sticks. All right, beautiful. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go into my bag and just insert all the sticks I've got. There. You can see it takes a lot. And we will use this. And we will pick it up and add it. Pick it up and add it. Pick it up, add, pick up, add, pick it up, add. It's done. Now the forge can only be filled with charcoal, which we need to put up here. And we also need to make a mold, which we just got the entry for. This is actually kind of complicated. So to forge, there's a, but luckily the game explains it well. To forge a metal item, you need to obtain iron by melting it in the forge. So we can do that first. Then we need to harvest a mud brick to get a form and combine it with melted iron and a weapon to get a mold. And then we bake it in the forge. We harvest a bake form and we use a cast to create iron tools. <laughs> so what does that mean? Well, first of all, you just right click or you push Y and then you harvest and then, boom, we got some molds. So there we go. Now, we don't have any space for these, which is fine. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's go ahead and get some more sticks. Um, oh, that's just leaf pile. Yeah, not good enough for a stick. Let's see if there's anything lying around. There's a stick. There's a... Oops. There's a stick. And we can actually break this and get more sticks. There we go. This should be enough you would imagine for our next step which is to go here and to just add this in there now we need to add a mud brick and we need to go here and we just take mud we need to make more mud bricks and we take mud and put it in there and put in the campfire ash, which we actually might not have any. We don't. So I have to go over here. And my campfire is almost burned out. So we should get ash pretty soon. As soon as that burns out. And did I store any ash in my chest? Let's look. We have charcoal, though, so I'm going to take all this. I'm going to um, pick up the stack and drop it in. 
Now, in my bag, it's full, so I'm going to harvest these birds. Try to make some room here. And I'm going to use the storage box. And I'm going to uh, pick up the stack of tobacco leaves and just kind of uh, drop them in there. Pick up the stack of feathers. Ah, can't drop them in at the moment. Okay, fine. And we'll wait for that. But I should be able to fill this up with charcoal. Insert, 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 insert. You can see how much it takes. I'll get some more. Oh, here's my campfire ash. I thought I had... This is where my other campfire was. I just couldn't see it because it was in the dark. Okay, great. So now um, I'm going to make some mud bricks right away. Just throw this in here. Let that go. And then I'm going to open this up and just insert. There we go. It's full of charcoal. And then now I'm going to insert iron ore and... Uh, we need to light this, basically, so we go to our backpack, and we use this, and, uh, we insert that, and we're gonna try to get this thing going, and there we go, it's going, and now this is good, I'm gonna use the mud mixer. Beautiful. And we can pick up this mud brick and just add it to the outside here. And then now we just need to light this up. So we'll go back to our backpack and, you know, use our fire bow again. And again, this is why it's so nice to have this fire bow. Makes lighting stuff so easy. Insert that. He still complains, doesn't he? It's not really that hard, but there we go. So this is going to burn and give us a bunch of charcoal. This is cooking away. It takes a while for that. And beautiful. Now we're doing just amazing work. We've got ourselves a... Uh, the charcoal is cooking. We built the forge. We are melting the metal. When it comes out of here, it'll just be melted. And you can pick it up and it, it stays in this, quote, melted state. You don't really have to worry about it. You can carry it somehow. And then we will be using the mold and this to... Uh, make a weapon, and move on with the business of metal tools. So we went, we made a pickaxe, we mined, we got some iron, we built a mud furnace, and we are now making uh, charcoal with our, uh, what well, we made a mud forge and we're using our mud furnace. And we're doing beautifully. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. We're just about actually ready to open up the map and kind of take the ayahuasca and see what's on the other side uh, because we've really done a great work uh, you know getting technology building a sustainable system and surviving in green hell take care